Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you my guide for World of Warcraft on Mac. So it's a bit different than the one that I did for PC. You have a couple of different options over there. So we're going to look at it. So first of all, in the display mode, make sure that you're playing full screen window. Don't play window. It's causing some random stuttering when I was doing that. So don't use that. For the resolution, it really depends if you're playing directly on your laptop. As you can see, I have a weird resolution. It's weird on the Mac, but uh, also you can use an external uh, monitor so you can play 1080p, uh, 1440p or whatever. Uh, my recommendation is to put your uh, render scale at 98% like this and make sure that you're using the Fidelity FX Super Resolution. It will help a lot. First of all, the, the visual is a lot better and also it optimizes a lot your performance, your FPS. If you're struggling, you have like an old M1 with a gig of RAM and no, like not the pro version and stuff like that. In the render scale, I recommend to go with something like maybe test 80%, 75%. Make sure again that you're using the super resolution. It will help a lot for your visual and your performance. After that vertical sync, I just put it and enable. Honestly, you don't really care about input lag in a game like a World of Warcraft. You don't really see it. It's not like Valorant or Counter-Strike. So definitely it really depends on you if you want to use it or not. Low latency, I see, I, it's at built-in by default. Anti-aliasing, I really recommend to go with Advanced. Make sure that you're using FXAA. If you're very limited again with your Mac, you, you don't have a lot of resources go with low but i recommend to go with fx aai color 4x depth 4x if you're using fx a at low i recommend to go at color 2x and depth 2x after that you have the camera fov don't go too crazy with this one if you go at 90 you will drop your fps a lot you see a lot more in front of you so you need to render more so i recommend to start with 60 look at your fps if you it's everything is fine everything is fluid just upgrade it put more fuv if you want it and you can definitely do that by yourself just do some testing so we're going to use the base but you can apply uh, for a raid and battleground if you want uh so first of all shadow quality i recommend to go with low this is pretty much the parameter that will provide you the most of your fps it's straight up 16 to 20 percent boost in your fps liquid detail go at low you can expect seven percent in your fps so a nice boost over there Particle density, I recommend to go with fair. Uh, I don't recommend to disable it. As, as they can say, you will lose some effect. It's not good for your gameplay. So definitely go with fair. And blind occlusion, I recommend to go with disable. You can expect a nice 7% boost in your FPS. Depth effect, again, disable. Compute effect, disable. Another like 12% boost when you combine both. So really good optimization over there. Outline mode, I recommend to go with good. Not a huge difference between honestly disable and good. It's like 2% in your FPS and it's good for your gameplay. You should use that for sure. Uh, after that, you have the texture resolution. This is normally depend on your VRAM, but on your Mac, it's probably unified if you're using like M1, M2 or M3. So what I recommend, if you're playing at 8 gig of RAM, just go with fair and put your texture filtering at 4x for the rest of us honestly at world world it's world of warcraft just go at i and 16 uh, anisotropic over there and you should be fine spell density i recommend to use some uh, again for uh, gameplay purposes and you don't not lose too much fps and project texture you can go at enable after that you have three different slider and they're pretty huge on your fps if you go crazy with view distance you will see that you will lose a lot of fps my recommendation is start at four and two for environment detail and ground cluttering if you're struggling you will probably need to lower a little bit your views distance at three or even two depending on the type of computer that you have but my recommendation at four to two normally you can run this game easily after that, uh, we're going to go to the texture filtering. We talk a little bit about it. Don't use any ray trace. It will tank your performance. Ambient inclusion type, you can use uh, Fidelity FX Cacao if you want to activate your uh, ambient inclusion. Uh, resample quality, like I said, use Super Resolution 1.0 and make sure that you're putting the game at 98%. After that, uh, let's go a little bit over there. Uh, you don't want to use variable shader. Uh, you will see that your image will uh, change on the fly. So disable this. Graphic API, I recommend to use the new one. So the metal one, don't use the legacy one. Um, physics interaction, make sure that you're using player only. You don't want any NPC. You will tank your FPS a little bit with that. So, And it's not a huge deal, honestly. It doesn't like improve your gameplay. 
target fps i'm using 120 fps it really depends on the amount of earths of your monitor so on my in my case i have a 120 earth monitor don't go too crazy don't unlock it if you're playing on a laptop like a macbook pro you don't want to cause too much thermal in your computer and after that uh, have some trolling issue with your cpu and starting to like dropping your fps or stuttering and you don't know why so my recommendation is lock your fps with the amount of hertz that you have for your monitor for the rest uh resample uh sharpness i go at 0.2 question of preference you will not see a, a difference in your fps so move the slider if, if it, it's too sharp if it's too blurry go a little bit higher and i don't touch my contrast brightness and gamma this is pretty much it, guys, for my World of Warcraft guide for uh, the Mac. If you have any question, just come in in the YouTube section. Post me your Mac, first of all, the version of it, the chip that you have inside. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.